Today we are going to make Asian style rice with eggs and veggie. Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I invite my friend Gosha. Hi, how are you doing guys? <laughs> Gosha is going to show me how to make this delicious Asian rice. I with, don't even know. With vegetables and with eggs. So basically we are going to use multi-level of cooking with the Thermomix. We will have uh, steamed rice, a lot of vegetables. Then at the same time we are going to steam eggs. I just want an easy meal and not a lot of dishes. To make this Asian style rice with eggs, we need four eggs, onion, carrots, green beans, broccoli, broccoli, thank you, cauliflower, rice, veggie stock, and bacon, if you like. You, you don't need to add it. Okay, Gosha, and what is... Uh -huh. Yes, and if I may just interrupt you for a second, because uh, you choose really green, nice ingredients in terms of vegetables, but we can always add something more. If, imagine I don't like to eat broccoli, I could replace broccoli and I may d go only with green beans I see. and uh, cauliflower. So, so we so don't need still, all the ingredients. So it's still up to um, others and, and you to, to choose which uh, vegetables you would like to use. Okay, wonderful. So what the first step? Okay, so let's just uh, follow the recipe, what is telling you. Um, the first step is, I believe, to add uh, sesame oil. Yes, 20 gram. The so. option that the Thermomix is giving you as well is to add peanut oil. Of course, if you cannot get peanut oil or sesame oil, a lot of people are allergic. Mm -hmm. uh, so they could use regular oil that they, they usually have. In their okay, kitchen. so any, any oil is good. Yes. We're using today sesame oil. Okay. It, it's going to definitely taste delicious. And then we need 100 gram onions cut in half. So you have it here. 100 gram onions. Next, insert measure cup. We are going to chop the onion and it will take us just a few seconds. Three. And speed five. Okay, thank you. It's easy to remember when you want to chop uh, some vegetables using the thermal mix. Mm -hmm. It's usually uh, up to speed five. And then you will see the result that it's really Actually, well I love that because I don't need to do much chopping. Mm -hmm. Thermomix will do it for me. I just added. And especially onion, so no one is crying. Uh, <laughs> yes, no crying. And then the next step is telling us to add 150 grams of carrots. Mm -hmm. So you really nice prepare all the vegetables so you can just uh, add. Okay and we'll be still uh, chopping to make it smaller. So next, I'm going to chop the carrots for two seconds, speed 4.5. Okay, that was easy. How do you like the result? Only a few seconds and ingredients are already chopped. Chopped, yes. So next, we need 150 gram of bacon. Yes, and uh, you know, Maggie, the, why I like this recipe? Because it's giving you different options. If uh, you are vegetarian and you want to have this dish without any meat, you could just uh, skip the bacon, or you can add shrimp, uh, you can add even oh, tofu. anything. Yes, uh, but I really would like you to try with bacon, bacon. today. It's going to taste bacon, bacon. Well, delicious. <laughs> All right, 150. I actually don't, I just have 60 gram. So it's okay, it's, right? It's I don't okay. need to have a yes, lot of You can bacon. always adjust the ingredients, the amount of ingredients that you are using, and it will be good. Okay, so soy sauce. sauce. Oh, yes. I'm going My to sauce. use organic cocoa aminos. It works like a soy sauce, it's just lay, less sodium. Mm -hmm. It's more, more healthy. Healthy. Mm -hmm. 30 gram. And it's going to be. 30 grams. Mm -hmm. This next step, we're gonna saute all the ingredients. Let's see, um, seven minutes. 
Do I en put this in? No. no. Um, it was telling you that you could put a measuring cup on a side and you will see how uh, the softening is coming and you will smell it in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, the Thermomix is going to go up to temperature 120 uh, 20 yes. Celsius. So basically is, uh, it's sauteing the, the delicious onion, carrots, bacon, soy sauce, sugar. That's all we added. Yes, and uh, when you have Thermomix in your kitchen, Thermomix is controlling everything, so nothing will be burned. When uh, you are doing the same step, sauteing, using the pan, and uh, having all the ingredients, you have to definitely be next and just stirring. Right now, you have three hands, so the Thermomix is doing the job. You I can make a coffee see. and yeah, just you forget can make about a coffee. the stirring. Exactly. Okay, see you in seven <laughs> minutes. Okay. okay don't ah. The seven minutes is up and the smell is incredible. So, Gosha, next step. Next step uh, is to put all the ingredients that we uh, saute. Um, and uh, it's good to have this uh, thermal serving bowl that uh, it keeps your food uh, warm up to two hours. So we are going to add the uh, carrots and bacon and onions. So I want to tell you something. Gosha asked me if I have this. Maybe. I, I didn't even know I have two it. hours. So you will see. Um, and it's really good when you are um, having part, the uh, guests are coming. You already done something. You uh -huh. can just uh, prepare your meal. Um, in advance and then just uh, keep it on the side with the serving bowl. Put it wow. on the table directly because it's even looking great on the table. Yes, it does look great. Barking, smells so. nice, right? No, the smell. Mm -hmm. mm, the bacon. Okay. It looks like we already can eat. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll go and we are going to keep it for later because it's just the first step of our recipe. It will take us um, the next uh, 20 minutes altogether to finish, to finish the step. The good um, thing about this recipe as well is that you don't have to wash the bowl. You are just um, keep uh, following the next steps, and one of this it's one of my favorite Maggie. That's why I'm sharing this with you, vegetable stock paste. Thank the you. first step that I'm going to definitely recommend for all people who are starting their journey with the Thermomix. Uh, what is vegetable stock paste? It basically, it's all vegetables that you have at home, and the only one preservative that we are adding here is salt. You could keep this in your fridge up to three months. It will stay fresh and I'm adding this to all kinds of soups when we are steaming something to get nice flavor. Um, it's replacing all the not natural ingredients. So basically this is a veggie stack homemade and you can use it for everything. Soup, sauces, um, the Asian rice, any recipe which required the yes. stack. Okay. How much we need to add? Uh, we need to add one uh, teaspoon. One teaspoon. All right. So, so just, just yes, just add this. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then so um, the next step mm -hmm. for us will be to add a steaming basket, which is one part of the thermomix uh, coming. Uh, this one. It. Yes, so just put steaming basket in there inside and then uh, it's time to add rice. So would you rinse the rice or not? I will not. Some people they are doing it. Uh, if you would like to, you can still do it. So I will then uh, do that way. Just add the yes. rice can we add and it? then remove the uh, steaming basket and rinse, and it. rinse it with the steaming Excellent. basket already. Because so I like to rinse, so let's course. put it over here. Okay, so, so you are controlling uh, 350. the okay. amount that we are adding. And you can use any rice or...? It's uh, recommending us the uh, short, short uh, grain. Yes, uh -huh. grain. Uh, it's good. Um, for this specific recipe, I will not definitely go with brown rice. Okay. Uh, so all kind of white rice uh, will So the work. rice I got today, it's organic California sushi, um, short grain rice. It will be d definitely delicious. And one um, trick that uh, I'm going to share with you. You see the spatula? Yes. It has this little hook. hook. So it's easy 
to use when you would like to remove the steaming oh. basket. So again, you are not uh, burning your fingers when rice will be cooked already, and you can use the same way when you would like to rice Wonderful. it. Mm -hmm. So let's wash this. Okay, so let me just well this. rinse it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... So then you don't have to wash different dishes. Exactly. You still no, you this have is amazing. One. Now yes. I'm just going to put it yes. here. Mm -hmm. And then next. Okay. But we didn't add any water. What? The time is coming. Oh, okay. <laughs> 1,200 gram of water. And I'm just going to pour it. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. And, and again, you don't have to be uh -huh. really specific what okay. amount of water that you are adding. So if you're That's adding true. a little bit less or more, it's it still okay. Be okay. Mm -hmm. And next, set Varoma in position. Mm -hmm. What does this mean? Yes, Varoma. So uh, first of all, um, we have to put the lid, okay. which you did already. And the recipe is telling us uh, to put the Varoma and what will be the next. Because Varoma is helping us, it has like two parts. Uh, this is the Varoma dish, mm -hmm. much bigger, where you, you are going to put all vegetables. And then this is the Varoma tray. So when you are cooking, steaming your food, uh, right now we have rice, then we can get vegetables and um, we are going to steam together eggs. But imagine you could put salmon, chicken, different kind mm -hmm. of meat and still do the do same. Do it in one time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. So, okay, set Varoma in position. 400 gram mixed veggie. Mm -hmm. so, so I have the veggies. Yes, and you are just adding all the vegetables. So, so. any, mm -hmm. just 400, okay. Yes. So I can play if I like cauliflower <laughs> more and less broccoli maybe yeah. and more green beans. I see, okay. I like that. And it's as well giving you the option that uh, it could be fresh vegetables or the frozen one. Oh. So it's still going to work if I don't mm -hmm. have any fresh veg veggie, but you use I the frozen yes. mm -hmm. one. All right, okay. it's done. Yes. So next, close Varoma with Varoma lid. And then I will do something like that. When you are steaming, it's good to have this like a space uh, for oh, steam to go I up, see. especially so. that. Okay, so we add the veggies, and next step, we're going to steam the veggies. So I'm putting lid on it. Close Varoma with Varoma lid. 13 minutes, yes. speed two. And it's going to uh, be steamed, so the temper temperature will give Varoma, which is for steaming the highest temperature that uh, thermomix could get. And we have something on the screen. So what's our next step? Uh, so maybe? next step, meanwhile, line Varoma tray with damp baking paper and set aside. Whisk four eggs in a small bowl. Tap next. So we can do teamwork uh, because we have a Varoma tray. So we can uh, prepare the parchment paper, just write it in, um, just add some extra water. Okay. Really? because it will help us to fit this paper uh, nicely uh -huh. on our tray. So it's so easy. And then as a teamwork, you, so could, we need you could work eggs. on your eggs. Okay. Yes. So I'm already preparing right. the varoma. I'm going to put the eggs over here. Yes. That's it. I'm just mixing mm -hmm. the eggs. Yes. So I have four eggs. And what am I supposed to do? Just uh, uh, put it here. Okay. Just like. Yes. Wow. Look at that. And we'll be I steaming can't believe them. I'm steaming the eggs. Yes. Okay. I crush it. Okay. So we have four eggs. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper and salt and next step I'm just waiting for my steamed veggie and my rice to be cooked yes and then we will be just adding the varoma tray over the uh, varoma dish and it will take um, if I could remember five or up to seven minutes, minutes more and the dish and is ready yes. 
All right, let's see it. Thermomix is calling us. <laughs> okay, Thermomix is saying I'm ready for next step. Next. Done, please cl click next. Carefully open. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's hot, so Carefully. Mm. Oh, wow. Is this look at Look at the color of vegetables. Can I take it? Really? Yes, you can, you can put it here. It's really nice uh, to see the color and the difference. When you are just uh, putting vegetables into the boiling water, they are going to lose the color. Right now you have it like really super green no, still. That's amazing. So let us just take a look at uh, how rice look like because we are going to still uh, steam our eggs and we'll be adding a few more minutes. Uh, according to the recipe, but I would like to just check how rice uh, looks like. You see, we have like already much more because yes. it, it looks like mm -hmm. it's definitely steaming uh, and it will be ready after the next uh, few minutes. So let's just follow the steps. If you could just click next. Zero okay. veggie to ensure even cooking. Yeah, so we may do this. Like Insert the, prepare mm -hmm. Varoma tray and place whisk eggs in Varoma tray. Okay. Okay. So Varoma has to go again over On the, the leaf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right now you are adding our eggs On, the tray. On top of the mm -hmm. tray. Ooh. Yes. Leaf. Mm -hmm. Okay. Close Varoma with Varoma lid and steam. Another seven minutes, speed two. And it's the last step of the recipe, so it means after the seven minutes, we are ready to eat. <laughs> can wait. Okay, Thermomix is saying done. Next, remove varom Varoma. Mm -hmm. Be careful because oh. it's hot. Okay, I'm going to just Look at put that. the place here. So we may even like oh, put, put it uh, here. Yes. Remove simmer basket mm -hmm. using spatu so spatula. So step by step, we are just mm -hmm. uh, taking the varoma and we'll be putting the varoma on the side. You can open the lid mm -hmm. and take um, the, the rice. The rice. I want to actually okay. show. Oops. Oops. Mm -hmm. Can I just open this first? Yes, and show? of course. Mm -hmm. I just want to show you how the rice is cooked. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's cooked. It's not overcooked. It's just nicely cooked. Okay. All right, so now next step, I'm taking mm -hmm. the rice. Okay, I'm going to uh -huh. help you here. And uh, we will just uh, put all this rice in the bowl. And we have a lot of vegetables that are going to be mixed with our rice. Still, do not forget about our carrot and bacon that we oh, have yes. uh, in our... Um, Right here. Serving bowl. We didn't add any salt, nothing, because our vegetable stock paste uh, already um, added some flavor mm -hmm. to our rice. And right now, just step by step, you can add and mix all the ingredients oh, wow. together. That's it. Do I mix this? Yes. And then you still have your vegetable. And then just add all mm -hmm. the veggies. Do you know how many people we can feed with this uh, recipe? Mm. Like I'm going to call my neighbor. <laughs> yes, definitely. We are not able wow. to eat by ourselves. Yeah, you don't. You actually don't need meat. Or I mean, you can have a fish on the side, but this is a full meal because of the bacon and. If, uh, again, you are not eating eggs. You can skip um, eggs. Eggs. Oh, this is fry, fried mm -hmm. rice, so we mm -hmm. need eggs. Well, yes, at least in my household. <laughs> okay. So as you see, I'm like cutting eggs yes. so using the Varoma, so then we don't have to clean wow. anything. I have to tell you, I never steam eggs before, so mm -hmm. this is first time. I'm so happy. And I am, <laughs> I fry them, but they're not, not steamed. And I believe like it's going to be okay. If you want to make them smaller, you yes. could still cut uh -huh. it. Uh, if smaller you would like to pieces. have 
um, bigger pieces, so then it's, it's okay. And you see how this parchment paper help us yes. to steam them? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So I believe uh, you can go like that. Mm -hmm. And just mix this all together. You can as well use the Varoma <coughs> maybe. Uh -huh. It will be easier for you. How do you like the colors that we have? It looks like a no, it spring. It looks <laughs> amazing. Honestly, this looks so good. The veggie, they not overcooked. They have gorgeous color. I like the carrots, the eggs, my cauliflower. I can't wait to try. Okay. Okay. And there's one step as well that you could always remember when we steam this. Um, mm -hmm. And you have basically water with um, one teaspoon yes. of vegetable stock yes. base. Some people, they are just uh, not using it. I definitely, I will recommend you to keep it. To put um, some vegetables, you can make a soup, uh, sauces, oh, any wow. kind. So do not waste, uh, no uh -huh. waste of food with uh, Thermomix. If you need some extra additional flavor to your dish, you could as well uh, add put a little, a little would you bit. Add so a little bit. I will just uh, let you try. To try, and then you will decide if okay. you want. So. All right, moment of truth. Let's try it. Wow, I have to tell you. Here. It's looking That's great. for you. Mm -hmm. And with this balls, you can really serve like Asian style. <laughs> yes, I, we need, I have the. So I'm waiting for you to tell me how do you like it. Smachnego. Oh, wow. How do you like vegetables? Mm. You're like veggie are like really nicely. Just steamed. Mm -hmm. They are not overcooked. This is amazing because we did not add much soy sauce. Mm -hmm. And I feel, I, I taste like there is a sauce. And the veggie are cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. I mean, they crunchy. The same with rice. Mm -hmm. So easy. It's taking 30 minutes to have I am this just thing. amazing that broccoli and cauliflower and green beans I cook together. It's the same time and they perfect. Um, the rice, I have no idea how Thermomix knew how to do it, but <laughs> it's cooked. It's the magic. It, it's the magic. How, how, like, it, I didn't even read instru instruction how long I have to cook the rice for. Mm -hmm. So this is amazing. And remember that we didn't add any salt when we steamed um, mm -hmm. rice. I don't think it needs it. For me, maybe I add spicy sauce, that's all. Mm -hmm. But this is delicious food. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy our video. Thank you. Thank you.